Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com and I am your GPR professor. <clears throat> Excuse me if I'm a little kind of off in my sound in this video, I'm a little stuffed up, but I wanted to bring you a quick video today about uh, an issue I was having last week with a customer. So it's an important lesson I think for everybody, especially people who are new to the business, uh, and it's related to a video that we did pretty recently about the limitations of, of GPR. And I'll uh, go ahead and, and, and put the, the link in the description below uh, for that video. <clears throat> so what was happening was this. is I, I got somebody uh, referred to me. They reached out um, and they wanted me to do, uh, you know, to locate unmarked graves at, at this cemetery, um, kind of old church cemetery. And I sent them our contract and they were kind of unhappy with uh, how I described um, you know, the limited liability that I'm willing to take obviously for things that don't get located. Um, you know, they kind of came back to me and said, we want you to change the contract because we want you to have more liability. What happens if, you know, you do the survey and, uh, you know, you say that it's thorough, but, you know, we go to excavate another grave to inter somebody and so is, there's already a grave there, right? Uh, what kind of recourse do we have? And, and kind of my answer to them was none. Okay, you have, they have no recourse. Why? Because I, I cannot change the physics of the universe, right? For GPR to work uh, properly, adequately, we need to be able to identify contrasts. And sometimes with old graves, you just don't get much in the way of contrast. If the grave is over 100 years old and it's homogenized with the surrounding soil, it could be hard to discover that grave, right? It could be hard to uh, interpret uh, a reflection event as being a grave. It might be really subtle if we still have signal left. So, you know, the, the, the point is when a client or potential client wants more from the technology um, than it can actually do, be very careful uh, in, in, in working with those, with those people. Um, you know, and really I would tell you to, to run, you know, and, and not work with them. I, I would, so what happened with this situation was I decided, you know, not to work with them. I said, here's my contract and here's what I'm willing to put in and here's what I'm not willing to put in. Um, and so if you want to do, you know, the, the, the work, if you want me to do the work, it was Jeff to do. I said, nobody else is going to do, as, you know, better. I mean, people will do as good as me. We're going to do as good as anybody else out there, but I can't guarantee that we're going to locate everything. And you very well may, uh, uh, you know, excavate to do an interment in the future and, and hit somebody. I think it's a low probability, but um, it can happen. And I'm unwilling to take, you know, liability for that because I can't change the physics uh, uh, of the universe. So when somebody wants the technology, the GPR technology to do more than it's capable of, uh, don't work with those people. Uh, express the limitations, full disclosure, tell them what the what the problems are, um, tell them what the limitations are, tell them their likelihood of success, uh, and s stick to your guns. It's just not worth dealing with them, with those kinds of, of clients. Uh, and in this case, they even asked, they said, what kind of <laughs> recourse do we have against you if we hit something? I said, well, that's a red flag and we're not doing, in a sense, business. So um, so just a little kind of you know suggestion, be careful, stick to your guns, explain the limitations of the technology and if they want more from it than you can provide, then tell them to go for somebody else. Unfortunately, there are people out there who would say, sure, we can locate everything, you know, and and, uh, um, and then they give, you know, the, the, the industry a bad name. So hope this was helpful. You know, tell me, comment below if you've ever had clients like that, clients from hell, you know, tell me about issues that you've had in trying to explain to somebody the limitations and them not understanding. I'd love to hear uh, your experiences. So please, Put in the comments below. If you like the video, click the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you'll get notified every time we put another video up. Um, so thank you so much. I wish you nothing but the best. Have a great week.